Heap is a vital data structure often used to quickly find the maximum or minimum value. Today, we'll talk about what a heap is, the difference between a max heap and a min heap, and why heaps are so useful. A heap is typically implemented as a binary heap, based on a complete binary tree. In a complete binary tree, every level is fully filled except possibly the last, which is filled from left to right. This structure allows heaps to be efficiently represented using arrays, making operations fast and simple. Heaps follow the heap property, which comes in two forms. In a max heap, each parent node is greater than or equal to its children. The largest value is always at the root. In a min heap, each parent node is smaller than or equal to its children. The smallest value is at the root. Let's see an example. In a max heap with values 100, 19, 36, 17, 3, 25, 1, 2, and 7, the root is 100 and its children are 19 and 36. Both are smaller than 100. Similarly, 19's children, 17 and 3, are smaller than 19. This pattern continues, satisfying the max heap property. In a min heap with values 1, 2, 3, 17, 19, 36, 7, 25, and 100. The root is 1, and its children, 2 and 3, are larger than 1. The same applies to other parent-child relationships, satisfying the min heap property. What makes heaps special? Their structure ensures efficient operations like insertion, deletion, and key modification, for example, increase or decrease, all with a time complexity of O log N. This efficiency makes heaps ideal for managing and processing large data sets. Heaps are widely used in Priority queues for efficient insertion and removal of high priority elements. Heap sort, a sorting algorithm with O N log N complexity that requires no extra memory. Graph algorithms, like Dijkstra's and Prim's for shortest path and minimum spanning tree problems. Huffman coding for building optimal prefix trees. In short, Heaps are powerful, efficient, and play a key role in many algorithms and real-world applications. Thanks for watching. For more content on heaps and other data structure and algorithm topics, don't forget to subscribe to the ByteVigor channel.